Ready? Get some yummy donuts. Yeah, baby? Hey guys, well, we made it to Pancho Pan. It's uh, almost four o'clock, hitting a lot of construction. A lot of slow drivers, all that good stuff. Um, all three of us actually are fighting a cold, so this, this is gonna be fun. Uh, we had some fun at Cops and Donuts. Um, got a whole box of them. Um, not that we needed a whole box, but when you're there, you get them. So there actually is a Cops and Donuts here in Ludington. Um, so uh, Betsy's uh, right now in uh, the camp office, um, you know, getting signing everything and all that good stuff. So um, we're gonna go in. We wanted to take uh, Piper's wagon, and unfortunately we couldn't. This the amount of stuff that we have, just one thing that wouldn't fit. Um, so we're gonna unpack, uh, get everything situated in the cabin, and then we're gonna go up. Um, there's an all of these just, uh, you know, about a mile from here. So it's, that's a bonus for us and, um, probably just do stuff around the campground today and then tomorrow and Sunday, uh, you know, we'll definitely go out and hit, uh, we got about 10 different areas we want to, to get a couple lighthouses and some stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it should be good. Um, so yeah. And there's Betsy. Here, here, I'll get you. Now you're, now you're not in the sun. Now you're not in the sun. <laughs> Baby girl's getting so good at walking. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Uh oh. Say uh oh. <laughs> wow. So, bring us down a little here. <clears throat> Pancho Pans have actually three pools. This one right here is an adult only then over there's the family underneath the cover here is the hot tub uh, they're not open because it's you know it's not in the season yet and it's been really cold uh, but they also have a uh, indoor pool with a hot tub and that's where we were uh, earlier and I'll put some footage up of that uh, Piper seems to really like the water and, and that's you know exciting for us because we we want her to we want her to enjoy herself when you know or herself when we're out doing these things so So right now we're just going to go for a walk. Um, the neighbors next to us, they invited us out to uh, uh, get the sunset photos over on the beach. But it's really cloudy and they're calling for rain. So we're going to wait till tomorrow and keep our fingers crossed. Uh, if not, well, we'll get a sunset from another spot. So, um, yeah. So we're going to hit a couple other lighthouses and some other stuff. Uh, since tomorrow will be Sunday, most people will be heading home. Um, not that today was any busy. I mean, every place we went, we got right in. Um, but we definitely want to, you know, get the rest of the stuff that we had planned. Uh, we were originally hoping to make 10 to 12 stops and basically 10 to 12 videos. But uh, this is going to depend on weather. What's wrong, baby? You getting antsy? Uh, you getting antsy? We're gonna finish going for our walk.
here you definitely got a lot of seasonals they're really really nice and then in the upper level there um, obviously more se seasonals and there's regular but on the other side of that and I don't know if you can see uh, on the past this uh, solitude fifth wheel but there is oh there it is that's the indoor uh, swimming pool hot tub and it does have a uh, um, bathhouse and I'm not really sure Betsy did they have uh, laundry in there no, no. Over by the other place. okay so there's no laundry on there no, it's just bathrooms and showers. Mm -hmm. and there's a playground over here the sites are really clean they work hard here to keep the place super clean that's one thing that we're just going through a thing of mosquitoes there's not many bugs here they do treat but not all the treatment in the world is going to keep them from coming out, especially as wet as it's been. Uh, they're going to come. So. So we're heading back to uh, the cabin. We we're gonna go through the whole entire park, but Piper's tired, she's getting a bit cranky. Probably another 10, 15 minutes, I ain't gonna have a voice. So we're gonna get up a little fire going, uh, make some, uh, well, some more, see if she likes them. And uh, hopefully do it before the rain. I'm looking ahead here and then Looking west there, it looks like it's coming in, so uh, we'll see. I mean, what can you do? <laughs> so, if it rains, it rains. If it doesn't, whatever. We'll still be able to get a fire in, I think, before it starts. Uh, that way, at least she can have you know, her first uh, some more by fire. So, try to shoot some video of that, and uh, I'm getting really really tired um, you know, I'm unfortunately being I'm already sick now and I have to watch because with my immune system uh, you know I can get I can get really bad again I'll be right to where I was a couple months ago and I really don't want that I almost feel that right now just real drained so uh, anyway so we're almost back to the cabin and um, we'll get the fire going here and uh, we'll see you guys back here in a few. Now, Betsy just informed me that we forgot our uh, fire sticks so um, so making a makeshift uh, marshmallow maker, cooker, bender 
thing, uh, camp store's closed, so, um, pan over a little bit here. Yeah, it's trying to follow me. Anyway, Piper fell asleep, so she's going to miss out anyway, but, uh, we'll still have some fun. Maybe tomorrow we'll pick up proper sticks, even though we have, like, hundreds of them at home. So, we just had our s'mores, and uh, yeah, they hit the spot. Um, I'm not a marshmallow person. As a kid, man, I loved them, but now, uh, those two can last me another three, four years. But uh, just kind of curious uh, what kind of snacks you guys like making around the fire. Um, my friends all have different things that they like to make. Uh, you know, um, some bring, you know, the pastry dough and put you know cinnamon stuff on there and all that and we're just kind of curious to see what uh, what kind of things you guys make and uh, comment below and uh, we'd like to try some of your yummy uh, snacks Here behind us, the frogs are singing away. That uh, brings me back to my childhood. I'd spend most of my summers up at uh, uh, the grandparents' uh, place. They had water. And at night, this is what it sounded like. Even though it was further away from the house, these guys are right behind us. And uh, hey, I guess you get used to it. I slept kind of okay last night, but uh, it's nice hearing them again. Um, Definitely brings back tons of memories, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Betsy's inside right now. Piper was still asleep, so she decided to put her to bed. And uh, we're going to finish up this wood, and then we're going to call it a night. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Propane firewood. Here they do recycling, which is awesome. Uh, basically everything you need you go into the camp store buy your firewood and they will deliver it right to your site Can't get any easier than that And then there they are This is their like rec hall they have their pancake breakfast different stuff in there It's locked up right now. It's kind of hard to see and get close enough You can kind of see all the chairs in there. They do arts and crafts and stuff for the kids. They have a theater screen Vending machine with all your favorite tasty drinks. This is a service garage. They got a shuffleboard over here. Entrance to the family pool. There's Two entrances to the pool, actually. So there's shuffleboard. Never played it. Don't know much about it. And then this first room has the laundry. If you forgot your soaps, they got it. It's nice and warm in here. Change machine. And of course, books, if you need them, something to read. And you got your arcade.
Bring it right back to the 80s. I think the exercise is upstairs. I can run up there real okay. quick. Piper. The fitness center is upstairs, so we're going to head on up there. Oh, it's locked. Right now we're coming up to the office. It's closed right now. It's Sunday. They haven't closed a couple hours. Didn't really have much time to come up here and shoot much, but they have a little store and all that good stuff. You can see kind of through there is the Dairy Queen and we just had some tasty snacks. Uh, during regular business hours here, though, they do have ice cream. There's one of their newer fountains. Yeah, can't really see much, but they have RV supplies and some regular camping supplies, shirts, all that good stuff. Um, looks like they still have the smoothie machine, or the... Uh, um, Oh, it wasn't the smoothie. What was that? Slush puppy. Yeah. The slush puppy machine. Yeah, so. Anyway, recenter it here because it doesn't want to be on me. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, yeah, uh, probably going to be basically our last video for now. We didn't get to go to every place we wanted to um, weather just wasn't uh, cooperating especially today uh, just like heading over to the uh, SS Badger as she was coming in we left here you know it's only four miles or whatever we left here and it was sunny in 64 by the time we got to the docks it was so foggy and cold it dropped like 15 degrees and that uh, damp coldness now here is at the campground so it went inland um, I don't even think we're gonna do a fire tonight we do have a whole thing of <laughs> firewood that needs to be burnt up so I don't know maybe just to burn it up but it's too cold for Piper so maybe if she falls asleep early maybe we'll do I don't know if not I guess we might be I don't know got a whole bundle we didn't burn so but anyway uh, yeah, if you guys ever get a chance, Pancho Pond's a great campground. Uh, we love it. It's clean. Everything you need. Priced right for all the amenities that you have. Uh, and you're conveniently close. Now, if you uh, are in a motorhome and you don't have a toad, um, this area offers dial ride and I think it's a dollar fifty now. The bus will come here, pick you up, and drop you off to wherever you want. And when you're ready to come back, call. We've used it even for large groups uh, camping. Uh, took us downtown. We went shopping. Went to the bar. You know, uh, I didn't have to worry about driving back. Now, if you're unsure of the areas and all that stuff, the front desk will actually handle that for you. That's pretty cool too. Uh, there are taxi services, but the bus is the cheapest, and it will drop you off literally at the front of wherever you want and pick you up wherever you want. Um, the only thing is, give yourself time because that bus might have 15 stops or three stops. You don't know if there's people to be picked up or dropped off when it's en route. So give yourself time. It's not going to pick you up and drop you off like a limousine. You're, you know, there's going to be other people on board. Um, so keep that in mind but that way you can get around without having to rent a car or worry about not having a car so um, we can put a link up for the dial ride and that way you guys can look it up we'll also have a link here for the uh, campground and some of the other places that we went to and until then we'll see you later happy trails